all right guys so it's time for another video as you can see today we've got a push day we're switching things up i've had two pull days and a leg day in the past three videos i've done so you know we're adding a bit more diversity here no montages either um i want to add a bit more personality to the channel you know just so it's not just a video of a somewhat muscular guy working out you know you can actually get to see what my philosophies are on training how i feel about certain exercises why i do what i do and uh the exercise in question right here as you can see is the bench press we're warming up here um a set of the bar and a set of a plate not to make excuses but um my bench press kind of sucks i've got those long gangly arms um but you know we still do it we still want to get stronger right right now i'm kind of being really careful about my warm-ups you know here we have 80 80 kilos yeah there's a 10 um behind the 20s on each side there basically just making sure that i'm fully prepared you know which is why here i'm going semi heavy for me because i don't want to just like warm up loads with a plate on each side and then um my fucking muscles can't take the heavy weights when i get to them speaking of which here's two plates which i spontaneously decided to rep out there's a third rep there is the fourth rep feeling quite weak however look at that it's it's moving slowly but surely and i got the fifth rep and you must be insane if you think i was going for another one so i put that down and then here comes my sets i did three sets of five with 90 the original plan was to do three sets of five with 95 but i was fatigued because i felt like going for that but it's fine you know it's all right to challenge yourself every now and then there's nothing wrong with that I don't think it's necessary to stay on program to the T all the time, unless you're competing, especially in powerlifting. In that case, yeah, don't go off program, but I'm not competing. Just want to get bigger and get stronger. So I'm allowed to do these things. As you can see, oh, the face is not, that's not a very flattering angle. Fuck Oliver, he's the guy who recorded it. I mean, you get pretty good angles most of the time, mate, but not in this scenario. I can't applaud you on that whatsoever. So the reps are moving kind of slow here, actually. But right, here we are. We're moving on to Smith Machine uh, overhead press. I do this seated just simply for preference. I do agree that you should do it standing if you want to, like, build more functional strength. But that's not what we're trying to do. You know, we're not going to be pressing any cars above our heads in any scenarios. We just want to get big shoulders. And um, even though I start with bench press because it's my main, you know, it's my main strength movement. I then do the shoulder press and then do all my shoulder workout because my shoulders are really lacking compared to the rest of my muscles so by doing this it kind of stops me from overtraining my chest because i have relatively good chest genetics you know i don't need to absolutely hammer them out every time i still train them hard obviously but compared to the shoulders the shoulders need a lot of work right here i think the smith machine itself is like 10 11 kilos like the bar, and then I've got a 20 on each side. Was hoping to go um, for a 25, but in my previous workout, I put 30 on each side, barely pushed up for four reps, and I was like, yeah, that's that's not a working set whatsoever. Um, I think I did five sets in total. I only recorded three. This is my last set, and I'm actually using a lighter weight here just because by the end of the fourth set, I would have only been able to get about six reps with 20 um 20 kilos on each side so i dropped it down to 15 and basically just repped it out and it feels really good um in terms of shoulders i only do three exercises one of which i didn't even record to be honest but i do at least five sets of each that way I, do, I just don't think you need much variety it's just about making sure you hit all three heads and i really go crazy on this exercise because i'm lacking front delts and here's a lateral raises essential like don't even think about it well the arms are looking looking kind of um kind of embarrassing there but it's fine i only recorded my last set on this just because i want to listen to music and i record on my phone therefore you know i can't i can't listen to music while i'm recording it's very unfortunate the uh the Gymshark stringer is helping me out a bit here though actually I I fucking love that stringer so much I got it at the Lift MCR event 
absolutely phenomenal. Would highly recommend, as if Gymshark needs me to advertise them. You know, you, you might have heard of them. Life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread always comes first. Wow, I was I was really spitting facts there. But yeah, the lateral raises, I just did five sets to failure and did a drop set at the end. Here we have um, as my inclined chest movement. This is a really good machine. Uh, inclined dumbbell press is also an essential. It's just today I was extremely fatigued. I went like very much to failure on a lot of my sets for the shoulder press. And of course... I did the top set with two plates on um, the bench press. The hardest part about this machine is simply getting into position. It's a bit awkward, but once you get it up, the stretch and the squeeze you get is amazing. Can't lift much weight on it. Like, I think I've, yeah, I've only got under two plates here. I did two plates for my first set, but there's less here because I'm astronomically weak on this. But that's not what it's about, okay? Um, here... I've got tricep pushdowns. I also did rear delt flies, but I didn't fucking record them because I thought they were, you know, they were a pretty boring exercise to see. I do these down and then I also do them. Get that shit out of my face now. Yeah, sorry about that. I just interrupted myself. I hate when that happens. So yeah, for triceps, I just burn out doing tricep pushdowns and then overhead tricep extensions on the cable with the rope. It's all you need, in my opinion, for triceps. I am a lot better with my tricep training than my bicep training. When I train arms together, um, which I don't do anymore, it's literally because I used to always overwork my triceps and neglect my biceps. I'm trying not to do that anymore. There he is. He's uh, he's doing it. I also am not very strong in this exercise whatsoever, but you don't need to be, um, especially on accessory movements like this. And I think the footage is about to end. So thank you for for watching. I hope that you found it somewhat informative or at least entertaining. If you want to see um, any more voiceovers or if you'd rather see more montages, please let me know so I know what kind of content to push out and what would be the most entertaining for you all. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video now.